Casey Affleck is a popular American actor, director, and animal rights activist. He happens to be the younger brother of successful actor Ben Affleck. Casey is known for taking up unconventional roles, so unconventional that many Hollywood A-list stars would hesitate to portray such roles. He started his career in the late 80s with the TV movie Lemon Sky and gained mainstream Hollywood popularity with his 1995 film To Die For. Thanks to his impressive performance in the movie, he became one of the favorite actors of To Die For director Gus Van Sant, who prophesied Casey to be the next big thing in Hollywood and went on to cast him in back-to-back -back films. Subsequently, Casey started landing more prominent roles. But unlike most of his contemporaries, he chose his roles with caution, which resulted in him being termed as perfectionist. His hard work paid off, and he was nominated for an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor for the 2007 film, the assassination of Jesse James by the coward Robert Ford. His career was then dominated by respect-worthy roles in some critically successful films such as Gone Baby Gone, I'm Still Here, and The Killer Inside Me. The biggest turning point of his career came with the release of Manchester by the Sea. For his role of a grief-stricken man in the film, Casey swept almost every major acting award that year, from an Oscar to Golden Globe. Casey Affleck was born on 12 August 1975 in Falmouth, Massachusetts, USA, to a teacher mother and an auto mechanic father. His father Christopher Affleck also worked as a part-time bartender, bookie, and electrician. In his younger days, Chris had also been closely associated with the entertainment industry. During the 60s, Chris worked as a writer, actor, producer, and director with the Boston Theater Company. Casey and his older brother Ben went through tough times during their childhood as their father was a drunkard. He was a bitter man who had an unfulfilling art career. When Casey was nine years old, his parents separated. Despite his father's behavior, Casey later admitted that his father was a massive inspiration as he learned quite a lot from him. After their parents' separation, the brothers moved in with their mother and paid weekly visits to their father. Casey learned Spanish during his early teens and shared a great bond with his brother. Although Ben was older, they both had common circle of friends at school and spent much of their time together. Casey was exposed to acting and theater during his junior high school days. His mother, an ardent art lover, would take him to theater every now and then. She had many friends from the entertainment industry and most of them worked as actors, musicians, and painters. This got the brothers exposed to the art world during their most receptive years. Eventually, the frequency of their visits to the theater increased. Casey wasn't really interested in an acting career during his early high school days but began to change his mind after being part of several theatrical productions in high school. His teachers saw his talent and compelled him to pursue a career in acting. As a teenager, Casey Affleck had already appeared in a TV movie titled Lemon Sky. He secured this acting role on the back of his mother's recommendation. He got his first movie role in the 1995 film To Die For. The film was a satirical comedy directed by esteemed filmmaker Gus Van Sant. His portrayal of a psychopathic angry teenager received praises from the critics and Gus Van Sant openly claimed that he had become a fan of Casey, the actor. The film went on to become a hit. The failure of his second film, Race the Sun, compelled him to quit acting. However, he could not refuse when Gus Van Sant cast him in Good Will Hunting, which was written by Casey's brother Ben Affleck and starred his childhood friend Matt Damon. The film was a huge critical and commercial success and catapulted Casey to fame. However, he was not completely convinced and disappeared from the Hollywood scene when his movie Chasing Amy failed to make an impact. Once out of the university, he continued working in films by taking up minor roles. Thus began a dark phase in his life, during which he was part of many unsuccessful films, such as American Pie, 200 Cigarettes, and Drowning Mona. In 2001, he worked with director Steven Soderbergh for the film Ocean's Eleven, which revived his career to an extent. The film, starring Brad Pitt and George Clooney, was a big success and earned Casey praises for his role as one of the Mormon brothers. Casey reprised his role in the following two installments of the film series, titled Ocean's 12 and Ocean's 13 respectively. In 2002, Thus Van continued his collaboration with Casey by casting him in the lead role for the film Jerry, which also had Matt Damon playing a pivotal role. 
The following few years produced mixed results for Casey, but the year 2007 had a big surprise in store for him. He starred in the drama film, The Assassination of Jesse James by the coward Robert Ford. The Western drama film had Brad Pitt playing the titular role of Jesse James, while Casey played the other titular character Robert Ford. For his negative character in the film, Casey received nominations for an Academy Award, Golden Globe Award, and Screen Actors Guild Award under the Best Supporting Actor category. Robert Ford turned out to be the biggest breakthrough role of his career and made Casey a part of Hollywood A-listers. In 2007, his older brother Ben was going through a tough career period. When Ben thought of trying his hand at direction, Casey supported him and played the lead role in his film Gone Baby Gone. The film was a major critical success and a modest box office hit. The critics were astonished after seeing Casey's performance and called him the new big thing in Hollywood. In the 2010 film The Killer Inside Me, Casey played the role of a serial killer, which earned him critical success. In 2011, he played a supporting role in the heist comedy film Tower Heist. During that time, Casey announced that he was working on his debut directorial venture titled I'm Still Here and that he was putting his own money into the making of the film. In 2014, Affleck played a supporting role in Christopher Nolan's science fiction epic Interstellar. He then went on to play a detective in Triple Nine and then played an engineer in Disney's disaster movie The Finest Hour. Joaquin Phoenix introduced his sister Summer Phoenix to Casey Affleck in the late 90s and they started dating right away. They got married in 2006 and were blessed with two sons, Atticus and Indiana. In 2015, the couple started talking about their troubled marriage publicly and separated the same year. Casey said that the split was mutual and that they were still good friends. Soon after that, he started dating actress Floriana Lima and Summer Phoenix filed for divorce in mid-2017. The divorce was finalized in September 2017. Casey is an animal lover and has been a vegetarian since 1995. He works with PETA for animal rights and is quite vocal about his endeavors. Casey's career has been plagued with controversies. He was a known alcoholic, and his fans breathed a sigh of relief in 2016 when he announced that he was three years sober. He has also been accused of sexual molestation by a couple of his co-workers. Affleck won an Oscar, a BAFTA Award, a Golden Globe, and a Critics' Choice Award, all for Best Actor, for his impressive performance in Manchester by the Sea. He received several nominations for his turn in The Assassination of Jesse James by the coward Robert Ford, but achieved no major wins. Casey Affleck has a net worth of $20 million. Thanks for watching this video, hope you like this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. I will see you in next video.